Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the print server uh, role. Um, we're going to talk about how to add it and how to configure it. So as you can see here, um, I'm just going to go over what a print server role is, um, the very basics of it. Uh, it, it is a centralized print services network printer management task. It accepts print jobs from the client to be then to be processes on the printer. Can be spool, spooled on the print server or the client. Most of the time you want the spool want to spool on the client machine. Um, the reason I say that is because a lot of times it depends on the environment that you're in. Uh, small companies will tend to have uh, the print server role on one server, domain controller, DHCP, DNS roles, and possibly even more. Thus, it would reduce the amount of load on the server. I'm, I'm sorry, that would increase the load on the server, uh, not reduce it. Um, however, if the print server role was installed by itself on the server, then I would suggest to spool all print ser print all the spool spool all the print jobs on the server. Um, the main reason for that would be because that's all that server is doing is just the print jobs. We're on a smaller network. You're gonna have you're gonna have um, a lot more roles on one device typically at least that's been my experience anyhow so now we're on the server side here I'm going to add this role I'm going to click next and I'm going to install a role based or feature based installation I'm going to click next I'm going to select my server. I'm going to select print and document services. I'm going to install those features. I'm going to click next. I'm going to click next here. I'm going to go ahead and click next. This just gives you a brief overview of what uh, print and document services does. I'm just going to select the print server here. You can select uh, any of those things that you wish to do, but for uh, our purposes, I'm just going to do the print server. I'm going to install it. It should only take a couple seconds to install this. Right, there it is it's installed now we're going to go in there and uh, configure the print server as you can see it, it successfully installed correctly I'm going to go to tools I'm going to go down to print management go to print servers uh, click on your server, right click printers, add printer, uh, I'm going to add a TCP IP uh, printer, I'm going to change this to TCP IP, you can um, do anything you want here, you can either do auto detect, which sometimes that works, uh, a lot of times I have found if it's better for me to just know the IP address and just install it. 
I have seen auto detect work fine, um, but most of the time it, it does not uh, always detect the printer. So I like to go ahead and do the TCP IP device. I'm going to enter my TCP IP. I doubt that it's going to detect the proper printer driver to use. I'm going to show you how to do that here in a few seconds. Yes, it did not find it. So I'm going to click have disk. I'm going to browse for my uh, file. Mine is on the desktop. It's in the brother printer. I have found that a lot of times that these INF files is this is what you need is an INF file that sometimes these can be difficult to find if the manufacturer of your printer does not provide them for you I have found that I can use a an extractor to be able to find those INF files to install these printers most of the time the manufacturer will have these on their website to get these INF files. Sometimes they're not easily found and you have to dig for them. It's been my experience. But in this case, this one finds it right away. Um, it's already has it selected. And I'm going to go ahead and click open. Uh, just remember sometimes they you know, you have to have when you're installing this on the printer you have to have an INF file you cannot use uh, an executable you have to use the INF file whether it's it doesn't matter what kind of machine it is whether it's a Xerox a Dell a brother printer many others there's there's many many other uh, brands out there uh, there's a lot of other manufacturers out there that I can't even think of right now but I know there are tons of manufacturer printers Xerox is ones I'm most familiar with and they seem to be pretty pretty good about providing an INF file sometimes so I'm going to go ahead and click open here. Click OK. Let's see it found that. File pretty easily. Mine's a 625. I'm going to share this printer. I'm going to click next because everything looks correct to me there. Now it's installing the driver. And just for good measure, I'm going to go ahead and print a test page. In large environments, this isn't always practical. Uh, I like to do this in smaller environments just to make sure that the printer is talking to the server. And it just gives me one other verification that it has a good connection and as you can see there it says it's printing it, it detected my printer click close I will in another video I will go over what deployed printers does and what does for but pretty much that that is it for this video uh, we installed and configured the video. Now you can go in here to printers. You can see that it's installed. You can um, go into properties here. Uh, in another video, uh, I'll tell you why we would have to add a 
user or a group to this particular printer if you do not want it uh, other or if you want certain people to be able to use this printer you can go in here to security and change that to just the specific people that you want to have access to that printer I will go over more detail in another video on that basically the video for today is just adding the printer uh, print server role and the um, and to configure it and as you can see uh, I was able to successfully I can see my printer it successfully printed off a test page and I was able to print thank you for watching and have a good rest of your day